No, no. I have never liked Monsoon. I've never liked it. Hold my hands up. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Do I know you? No. Sure I know you. Do you work in my office? No. You look so familiar. Where do I know you from? I'm your stalker. Yes! <laughs> huh. You're the guy that hides in the bushes behind my flat. That would be me. And the late night phone calls and the threatening letters. Is that guilty as charged? Gosh, wow. Huh. What a coincidence bumping into you here. Well, not really. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> God, well. You! I told you to stop following me, you purrs. If I catch you following me again, I'm calling the police. Got it? Who was that? I don't know, some crazy woman. Well, she seemed to know who you were. I swear I've never seen her before. God, you're just like every other man in my life, aren't you? Okay, okay. I used to stalk her for a little while, but it was months before I started stalking you. And she just happened to be here as well, did she? Yes, I came here for you. I was going to attack you on your way home. I want to believe that, I really do. It's true. Look, if you don't believe me, look in my bag. What's this? I was going to give it to you later, but seeing as you don't believe me... Oh, my God. Is this... Your cat. <laughs> I strangled him last night. So you really weren't stalking that other girl after all? Of course not! What kind of person do you think I am? <laughs> Never talk. Silence! She's not talking. What are we going to do? I've only booked the room till 1. It's 12.30 now. There, shut up! We're running out of time. I didn't want to have to do this, but we need the information and you've given me no other option. Chris? Yeah? Bring me the bread. You wouldn't dare. No. Chris? Yeah. Make sure it's white bread. No, no, Chris, Chris, no! Please, please! Ah! 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 Please. No more cubs. Are you going to talk? Okay, I'll talk. Go on. The boss is your secret Santa. Really? <laughs> What's he got me? A lamp. Good girl. Cheers, Claire. Then why don't we treat you to lunch? <laughs> yeah, let's take you to... Greg's. No, no, the diet! Oh, <laughs> right? Nice day. I like your scarf. Thanks. Is it vintage? Did you mean second hands? No, vintage. You don't look vintage. You look like from the bloody 70s, the 60s, the Second World War, no, the First World War, the Crimean. You look like from the Crimean. You look like Christopher Columbus. You look like from the Crusades. Did Aristotle lend you those shoes? Did a dinosaur knit you that jumper? Oh, we missed the lights. I've got a joke. A man walks into a bar backwards and said, ouch, it's the gay bar. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's laughing. Oh, yes, I love rationing. I still ration my things now. We don't have to use it anymore. No, I just like it. I say to myself, that's the last of the meat, Edith. If you want any more, you've got to queue up. But, but you don't have to do it anymore. So if I want any more meat, I have to have sex with the butcher. That's the only one. <laughs> you said 12. It's now five past. I had to get my phone out and pretend to text so I don't look like a twat with no mate. Yeah, I'm sorry. It took longer at the doctor's than I thought it was going oh, to. You was at the doctor's today, was you? Yeah. I, do, I didn't want to say anything because I thought it might be nothing, but... You know those really bad headaches I've been having? Yeah, you skipped to the ends. I've got my results today. Yeah, fast forward, because we've missed the adverts. I don't want to miss the trailers as well. I've got a brain tumour. Yeah, I want to buy a popcorn. They say I might only have six weeks to live. Oh, my God. 
go your bailing on our New York trip. <laughs> I've already paid for those tickets. What? Oh, pay for me ticket? Oh, oh, yeah, and I'll go on my own, shall I? Thanks. <laughs> I, I might last longer than six weeks. Hi, Claire, hi. Listen, quick question. How do you fancy going to New York? Oh, hang on a sec. You are still paying for your ticket, right? Yeah, free ticket. Come on. All right. OK, bye. Oh, well, thank God for Claire. She doesn't let me down the whole time. Can we go in now? What film is it? Beaches. It's a comedy. <laughs> You're buying me a magnum. Can you tell us how you were treated by your captors? On the whole, not too badly. Obviously, things were uncomfortable as we were on the move all the time. Thankfully, the situation relating to the other yeah, hostages... Yeah, yeah, they're still captive. Um, Anne, what about food? Um, they fed me daily, quite a basic diet. Thankfully, the situation relating to the other hostages... Consisting of what, exactly? Well, as far as I'm aware, the UN have moved negotiations along. No, I meant the food. What did they feed you? Well, rice, mainly, and a... A few beans. And water? Did they give you any water? Yeah, they gave us plenty because there wasn't enough food. More or less than the two litres a day recommended by most nutritionists? More, mm. uh, probably. And were you given any gruelling physical regime? Yeah, we had to hike through the mountains, so it was very fraught. One of the male captors developed quite severe chest problems. So what we're looking and... at is basically a low-cal diet, about 600 a day with a good deal of cardio. What do you reckon? <laughs> I don't know, but I reckon she's lost about a stone and a half over six weeks. Not bad. Who says war is stupid? But this reporter thinks she still can't top a Thai gel for weight loss. Back to you in the studio. No. 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 Is that an no. No. Yeah. No. 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 But there aren't any more channels. Then make one. <laughs> Do I have to show you how to make one? No, no, sorry, darling. This. National Geographic. Oh, ah, ah. I bloody love monkeys. Why are you stopping? Sorry. Just because I've had a facelift doesn't mean I'm insecure. Thank you. I'm not. Hey, Nigel, good news. You got the part. No, don't thank me. They loved your audition. Just ringing to say well done. My mm. pleasure. Speak to you later. Bye. Mr Punch to see you. Mr Punch? Better send him in. Hello, Dave. Long time no see. I should bloody well say so. You have not been auditioning in months. What can I say? It's quiet at the moment. Quiet, my ass. You're not doing your bloody job. <sighs> Look, Punch. We've spoken about this before. You've got to change your act. You've been doing the same old tired catchphrases for years now. Tired? And that bit where you punch your wife with a stick. It's not the 70s anymore, Punch. <sighs> Look, Punch, there's just nothing out there in your casting bracket anymore. I've been tired, cut. I can play anything you've given the chance. Please, Punch. Why haven't you got me an audition, you bastard? Because you're an embarrassment, OK? You're a puppet. If I send you out to a professional acting audition, I'd be a laughing stock. Oh, God, look, Punch, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. No, no, it's OK. I appreciate your honesty! Yes! Ah, please! Punch, no! Are you going to get me an audition? Yes, of course! Honesty! I promise, I promise! Ugh. Right then, make the call. Hel hello? Do Donald? Donald, it's Susan. Are you still casting for the lead in that new play? Great. I've got just the guy for it. Yes, I think you should audition him as soon as possible. Tomorrow. Fantastic. You won't regret this, Donny. OK, Mr Punch, uh, in your own time, just give us a reading. <laughs> to be or not to be? That's the way to do it, though! Bullet sausages! Next! <laughs> Shit! Looking from well, as Wife Swap draws to a final close, we have the last ever episode tomorrow at nine. Uh, back to tonight, and the comedy continues with Russell Brand's Christmas Ponderland at five past eleven. And before that, the IT crowd are about to go naked. Ooh, 
That's next, here on 4. All I needed was the love you gave. 